Before we begin, I want to quickly mention that Node.js is often referred to as just Node, and I will be doing the same throughout this series. With that point in mind, in this video, let's set up our development environment and write our first Hello World program with Node. Begin by installing an editor of your choice. I am using VS Code. You can head over to code.visualstudio.com to download and install it. Next, we need to install Node.js itself. There are quite a few ways to install Node depending on your operating system, so let me point you to the simplest method. Head over to nodejs.org and here download the latest version which as of this recording is 19.1.0. Once the file is downloaded, install it sticking to the defaults without changing any setting. I already have it installed so please pause the video while you complete this step. Once the installation is complete, open Visual Studio Code inside a folder of your choice. I have a folder called Node.js. Within the folder, I have a settings JSON file where I have set the zoom level to four and this is only for recording purposes. You don't have to worry about it. Once you have VS Code opened inside a folder of your choice, open the integrated terminal. View. Terminal, or you can use the shortcut control backtick. In the terminal, run the command node-v. When you press enter, you should see the version of node installed on your machine. If you don't see the version, your installation might not have been successful. Please try reinstalling node or Google the error message you see when you run this command. All right, now that we have Node version 19 or above installed, let's learn how to execute JavaScript code with Node. There are two ways and let's go over each of them. The first one is the Node REPL. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop. Back in VS Code, in the terminal, you can type clear and press enter to clear the contents. Now you can type the word node and press enter. This starts an interactive shell that processes Node.js expressions. If I type console.log hello world and press enter, we see the string hello world logged in the terminal and undefined which is the return value of console log statement. On similar lines, I can type a JavaScript expression 2 plus 2, press enter and we see 4. So the node REPL reads JavaScript code the user enters, evaluates the result of interpreting the line of code, prints the result to the user and loops until the user signals to quit. We quit by pressing Ctrl C. Although using REPL is pretty straightforward, for building applications, the preferred way is to write JavaScript code in a file and run it with the node command in the terminal. Back in VS Code, begin by creating a new file in the folder. The convention is to call it app.js, main.js or index.js. Let's go with index.js. Within the file, type console log Hello from index.js. Save the file and in the terminal, run the command node followed by the file name index.js. When we do that, we see hello from index.js logged in the terminal. We are able to execute the JavaScript code written in a file using node. And this is the approach we will take in the rest of the series as well. So to summarize, we installed Node.js and verified the same by running the command node-v in the terminal. We then learned about the node REPL, which is one way to run JavaScript code with Node. We also learned the second approach, which is to write our code in a .js file and execute it with Node in the command line. 
And let me point out that you could, if you want to, omit the .js file extension as well. So run node index without .js and we have the same output. We have successfully run our first piece of JavaScript code outside the browser thanks to Node. Alright, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.